Good afternoon, I am Tiro, and it's time to castrate the killer cube of ore. There we go. Who's the boss? Who's your daddy? Who is the geometry? That's right, I am. And hear me roar. Dang straight. So I'm Tiro, and this has been Let's Play Cube of War. And now, as king, we go to the forest to romp and survey our reign. Yes, the day has come, the night has fallen, but we don't hear a ping. Exactly, we're the top. Now that's a new title. Eh, I'll take it anyways. Yes, we died four times over by vowing from our mates. Yes, we have killed the killer cube of ore, which makes him the undead cube of ore, or the really dead cube of ore. And now we are the killer cube of ore. But we are also king and lord and full of wild wilderness. And now we get to see the credits and ourselves and our lovely subjects happily frolicking and eating each other. Because isn't that what life is about? You eat, you mate, and you die. Hopefully not in that order. And this is why I included the uh, way back, you know, the demo screen, because otherwise you wouldn't be getting this music. Which is pretty catchy. Oh yeah, and here's a cute little stuff of uh, all the production team are the beasts. They're not members. Thank you, Hidea Naga Nagata. Very well done on using the piano arrangements. Mm-hmm. Here we have the nice pool scene. I have no idea what the hunting beast would be. I guess maybe he was the actual headhunter for uh, team members. Now, no, this guy, he did an excellent job with the mutations. Just think about it. You eat and then you have to roll them and spread out the limbs. Can't even think about the algorithms to go into that. Yes, and here we are, frolicking. Frolic, frolic. And you, Yuki. You should have done a better job with the effects, because there are barely any, unless you count all the blood. And in any case, thank you for that, at least. Mm-hmm, 2D animation. It is kind of true, they could have pulled this off on the Super Nin uh, Nintendo with an FX chip. But it would have more problems with just, you know, lack of textures, because you have a lot of camera angles here. And I'm sure an FX chip wouldn't be able to pull that off. Yeah, Proto Beasts. I wonder what they did. There are little toys of the Cubivores where you actually have their heads and their little limbs, so I wonder if they were just, you know, playing around with those to make out. or make the type of Cubivores you could. And you, Takayuki, should be fired because you didn't do your job. There's no logic in this game. Well, there is, but you just have to question why it would be considered logic. Mm -hmm. And here we are on the plains, where the deer and the antelope go. Ah, and they're children. Here we have nice little piggies. Mm -hmm. And then the scooting little bear. How cute. 4D? 
Where's a fourth dimension? We had no time travel. And here we have the ugly, disgusting, despicable, crummy bird. Actually, the 4D section does make sense, but we shall see that shortly, not now. So, yet again, we are breaking the time barrier. And let's go follow that cute honey. That a boy. Yes, there are shadows in this game. You can barely see them because, uh, well, you have more important things to do, like eat and not be eaten. How can there be an understudy in this game? There's no actors. There's not even voice actors. An under understudy. Yes. Yes. Just like this game. No sense whatsoever. Mm. And what's that little thing on the hill there? It looks like a cubivore silhouette. Could it be a ghost? Yeah, what would ghosts in this game look like if the angels look like little halos on with a wire? I guess a ghost would be the wireframe. Maybe that's a skeleton. Mm, don't need a thing to hurt my brain. And we have the actual killer cube of war, so he's the guy in charge. And yes, thank you Atlas for producing it in America. This game was actually developed by Nintendo, but it was only translated by Atlas. Or, you know, ported, whatever the term is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Su Saru Burune. Brune. Yeah. And thank you, music composer guy. Very awesome. And there we go. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.